Um, so today I have a custom order to do. I have to wait for her to jump on. I am looking for Benita Manning One, I think is the name. So if you guys see her, let me know. Just finished shopping. What were you shopping for? I'm so excited. Oh, there you are. Hey. Hi, Kimberly. Because it was a holiday, I was expecting you live. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing a custom order. She's here, so I'm going to get started. Um, I have a zip around wallet that I have to do, and then I have a collet that I have to do. This is the collet. This is the zip around wallet. Hi, groceries. <laughs> okay, so she wanted a coffee print. So we went back and forth a couple of times. I showed her a couple of prints and we changed a couple background colors and then this is what she settled on. So this is going to be the outside of the zip around wallet. Hi. So um, this is the zip around wallet by Maggie 55 pattern. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. I've prepped a lot of pieces. I'm going to prep the outside because I have to glue this on um, and I need a little bit of time for the glue to dry. So I'm gonna glue this on the exterior and then she chose this nice, really chocolatey color for the inside. So it's gonna be really pretty. It's a brown wallet by Maggie 55, yes. Um, so I'm going to glue on the craft text. That's what this is. It's kind of like a mix between cardboard and, um, I don't know, a really thick, thick piece. Of, it's not cardboard. There's nothing that is compared to, but this is what the pattern calls for. So I'm going to um, trace this, attach it, and then glue it on, and then let that dry. And while that's drying, we're just going to jump on to the collet. Hi. So I trace around the craft text and then I'm going to trim up the edges so that we get that extra um, material out of there because this is going to be folded over and there's a lot of extra fabric in the corners. Hi! So this is the exterior and then we're going to do the exact same thing for the interior. Hi Joyce! All right, so I'm just making sure everything is nice and lined up. Trace around the craft text. And then I'm going to trim it up a little bit, then we're going to glue it together. Will you be sending on voices for items ordered on Facebook? Yes. Yeah, so if you're talking about custom orders, yeah, so the process for that is that you sign up on my Facebook group page, and then um, I'm doing like three or four a week, so what I'll do when it's your turn is I'll tag you on the Facebook group page and ask you to send me an email with your order, and then I create listings on the website so that you can check right out through the, the website. Is that pre-washed? No. Hi, Lynn. So I'm just using for the um, interior, it's a cotton material and it's lined with, I think this is 931 TD interfacing. And then I'm just going to use my pinking shears around the edges. And then cut a couple slits in the side. This just helps everything fold in really nice and neat. Got my popcorn, yay! All right, so let me go ahead and start with this. So I am using Fabri-Tac, it's upside down. This is just um, fabric glue. I'm just gonna go around the outside. Try not to get it on my table. My husband just interrupted me. <laughs> it's not pre-washed, no. It's right off the bolt. I get a bolt, I think 10 yards is what it comes on. It's like 100 bucks on um, Amazon. But I use so much of it. They also offer, I want to say like 3 yards. So you don't have to buy a whole bolt. Alright, glue around the edge. Got a little on my table. I'm going to grab this, line this back up with the outline that I drew. And then I start by folding the straight ways. 
I'm going to clip that in place. Just do all the straight ways first and then I'll go around the curves. And then we'll set this aside to dry while we work on the collet and then we'll come back and finish this. All right, so all the sides are done. You want to make sure that everything is nice and flat on the front, that there's no bumps, and then just go around. What are you making? I am making a collet handbag, which is this, and a zip around wallet. This is going to be a zip around wallet. And then I just fold the ends or the corners in like that. And because I cut it with my pinking shears, we got a little extra fabric out of there so it's not really bunchy. One more person now and getting pricey. Is that a question? I love your shirt, thanks. It's true. So I'm just gonna keep going around, clipping this in place. Happy Labor Day. Hey Jennifer. We didn't really have a whole lot going on today, so, and I had to get this custom order done. So I figured why not go live on Labor Day. The highlight of my day was my dog, dogs getting out of the fence and some random group of ladies walking down the street on their daily walk, ringing my doorbell, bringing one of my dogs, and then us having to go find the other one. I'll give you one guess, the other one that didn't come back. Can you save this live and put it on YouTube? Sure. Yeah, I know I have a sew buddy. What are those little scissors? Butters. You are correct, Elizabeth. These are called pinking shears. No hair, is this your own pattern? This one is not my pattern. This is the um, Classic Zip Around Wallet by Maggie55. She does sell this pattern, so if you want to make it, you can go to her website. It's a great pattern. And there's quite a few YouTube videos that walk you through on how to make it. All right, so we have everything so, um, glued down, clipped in place. I know you're not going to be able to really tell the outline because of all the clips, but I'm going to set this aside to dry. Did he find a girlfriend? Butters is a she, but no, she just ran around. My husband got this um, badminton set. Um, so we were playing badminton out in the yard yesterday, and the way that our fence is, it's so close, we don't have like a whole lot of room to play badminton. So it would fly over the fence, and I would have to run out and go get it. So I just left the gate open so I could just run out and go get the birdie when it flies over the fence and we just forgot to shut it overnight. They were going for a walk, yes they were. She was exploring the island. Just finished my second big thing, yay! All right, so I'm starting by just following that curve that I drew on and then now what I'm going to do, um, this material is vinyl or faux leather so it's a lot thicker than the lining the cotton that we're using so instead of using my pinking shears I'm actually going to go in and get some really deep notches out of here because the fabric like I said is a lot thicker so I'm just going to go back and forth and those notches are quite a bit thicker quite a quite thicker than the pinking shears does the glue take longer to dry? No. Nope. Where do you get the full leather? I have mine custom printed. Miss Benita said that she wanted a coffee print, and I didn't have any coffee prints that I've ever made before. So, her and I went back and forth, and she liked this one the best. I've actually had quite a few people ask about a coffee print, so I might wind up adding something like this to the site so that it doesn't have to be custom order. I can just pre-make it. I love that chocolate brown. Isn't it pretty? 
I actually added that to the lining of my Highland cows, which I only have one more bag in stock. So I'm just going to keep going around, adding these weird looking notches. I was thinking that would be popular. The Highland Cow, yeah, it was popular. I think the Collet, the Collet was definitely more popular than any of the other items. Those, I had two, and those sold out, like, right away. Those were the first things that sold out. All right, a couple more here. Then we're going to glue this on the craft text. Keep it clean. Hi. All right, fabric glue around the edge. I need to grab some more clips. And I go in each one of these little notches to add the glue. It's essentially going to be sewn down, so this is really just keeping everything in place until we get all of our layers together to sew it all together. Think of like the notebook holder that you guys have seen me made, how I glue the layers together and then eventually sew around the outside. Done with the glue. All right, grabbing some more wonder clips. Get in my craft text. I'm going to line that back up. And then same thing. I'm going to start by folding these straight, straight edges. And then we're going to come around and do the curves. You're so talented. Thanks. Love your top. Thank you. All right. I got all of these sides clip down. Again, that's going to make sure that there's no lumps or bumps on the inside. And then I'm just going to keep going down the straight way. And then the last step is to do the curves. This is just going to ensure everything is nice and tight right up against that craft text. I use a lot of clips. Use however many you want. The more prep you do, the easier it is once you get the sun machine. Yes. Hey, I'm good. Oh, that copy pattern. Isn't it pretty? This is a um, custom order for Miss Benita. This is a zip around wallet. And then after we do this piece, um, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to do her collet in the same print. She got a handbag wallet set. I'm a barista. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this pattern too. This is perfect for a barista or anyone who just loves coffee. straight away and then we're going to do the curves. The curves it can be a little tricky. That's why the more fabric that you get out of there, um, the easier it's going to be. So I just start with one side and just fold in until I get to the other side. I have to do it on the edge. Make sure it's nice and tight so we have that rounded edge. And then add clips. Do you remember the brand store Amazon? You get the polka dot fabric bolts. The fabric, um, the brown polka dot fabric, I actually got from Joanne. Joanne Fabric online. It's Quilter Showcase. Hi, Louisiana. Hello from Hawaii. So I just keep it nice and pinched until I get that clip on there. Alright, last one. Hi, 
catch a wave. Last one right here. And then we'll set this aside and work on the collet. Are G to G. I know you're not going to be able to see the curve that well behind the clips, but um, again, if you pull nice and tight and you have enough cuts in there, you can get it um, almost perfectly round. All right, I'm going to set this aside, set this aside, and then we're going to work on the collet. start with the main print. I'm going to set that aside. Set this aside. Done with those. Keep it nice and clean. I modified this pattern slightly. Um, so it probably, if you've made this bag before, you know that the main panel looks a little bit different than this. So this is going to be the front and the back of the Colette bag, which is this bag, this style right here. Colette is um, a pattern by Kaya Papaya, so you can purchase this um, pattern on their website. Brown sides, what does that mean? We're in Hawaii. I am on Oahu. All right, so the sides are going to have this nice chocolate brown coordinating vinyl. So all of the black, the solid black on this bag, the sides, the shoulder strap connectors, the bottom and the shoulder straps will have this nice chocolate brown. So I'm going to start by attaching the sides. So I'm going to clip them in place and then I'm going to sew them in place. That's what I meant to my main color, yes. Yep, it's this chocolate brown, and it matches the pattern perfectly. Me too. Do you do craft fairs? I did one craft fair once in my um, community. I live in Mililani, and it did not turn out well, so I do not do craft fairs anymore. I'm sure I'm the Thanks. I do have something similar to this. Um, I'm preparing right now for my fall Halloween um, bags and purses. And so I have something similar to this in a, I think it's a notebook holder. Hi, Oklahoma. Thanks, Becky. All right, so I'm going to sew this down. And get my tension right. So we're going to sew them on first and then we're going to open it up and do a top stitch. My high school friend in Hawaii, she lost her home. Oh no. Hi. You should just <laughs> Thanks. It just didn't work out well. And you know what? I really didn't like packing. you got to pack all your stuff. And then you have to go to wherever the craft show is. And then you have to unload all your stuff. And then you have to set up all your stuff. It's just a lot. All right, this is what it looks like, the top stitch. And what that does is that's going to hold this down so that it's nice and flat. Right now it won't stay flat. And then it just gives it a really pretty finish. I wanted to take the fix the power of the night machine trip the big. We actually wound up calling over an electrician which it didn't need to happen. I just didn't know where the, we didn't know where the breaker box was. There's one outside, and so we thought that was the main breaker box. But in this house, and I don't know if it's a Hawaii thing, but there's actually two. And the other breaker box that had this room's breaker on it, like we walked past it every single day and never even knew. It was right in the kitchen. So, long story short, we had an electrician come out just to come in our kitchen, flip a box, and everything worked. That's how you have to pack it up. Exactly. It's a lot. It's just not my jam. When I can just come on live with you guys and hang out 
and not have to move anything. Do you do any leather purses? No. No, just faux leather. All right, these are now top stitched. I'm clipping my thread. So that's what it looks like. And then now what we're going to do are the shoulder strap connectors, which on this bag are right here and right here. That's what the shoulder strap is connected to. It wasn't worth the work, no. All right, so I have my pattern pieces cut out. I'm gonna put a piece of double-sided tape right down the center. We're gonna wind up folding this, and so the double-sided tape holds everything together. Where do you get your materials? All over the place. I use a bunch of different suppliers for a bunch of different stuff. If you wanna ask me specific, I'll tell you. The only information I don't give out is where I get my printed vinyl from. Like, if you want to know where I get my solid color or my tape or my scissors, I'm happy to tell you. What is the tattoo on my wrist? So this is a Jesus fish. I don't know if you can see it. And then this is one um, for my dad. What kind of craft stores does Hawaii have? Not many. They have, I think, a Benjamin Moore. All their craft supplies are really expensive. They have, um, so the fabric stores that I've been to, are they have some regular cotton, like quilting cotton, but the majority of their material is like um, the big, beautiful Hawaiian print material with all the flowers. All right, so we're going to fold it up one half and then fold up the other half. And what that does, this is a raw edge right here. And once it's folded up, it has a nice, um, like, clean, non-raw edge. Do I take special orders? Yes. I live in Hawaii. Okay. All right, so it's folded over. Let me get some more tape. All right, and then I'm going to put a piece of double-sided tape on the top there, put my hardware on, take off the back, and then fold that over. And then I'm gonna put some more tape on the back. And this tape back here is going to allow us to put this in place on our panel and have it hold in place while we're sewing it. But this is what it looks like on the outside. How much longer are y'all stationed in Hawaii? Two more years. Is Mary cruising? Yes. The woodland, yeah, the woodland animals. It's so pretty, and that has like a um, like a hunter green polka dotted inside. It's so pretty. I'm shocked that I still have that one. I do take custom orders in my Facebook group, so I'm just going to do the same thing on these other three and then we're going to sew them down so two go on the front panel two go on the back panel I love the craftsmanship thanks where are you going after Hawaii we have no idea you usually don't know until about six months out I like your shirt thanks what's the one under the woodland one it's a ladybug Lola I'm doing a custom order right now, but as soon as I'm done, if you guys want to see anything, I'm happy to pull it out. Hi. Are you going to miss Hawaii? I'm going to miss the weather. I'm going to miss how nice everybody is here. I'm going to miss how pretty everything is here. So there's a lot of aspects of it that I'm going to miss. Wait, what are you making? The um, Colette handbag. It's in a coffee print for Miss Benita. All right, last one. I'm kind of shaky. I had a second cup of coffee today. I probably shouldn't have. And I haven't eaten anything since like brunch. 
So I'm kind of shaky. I'm fine. I'm not nervous or anything. All right, here we go. Those are our shoulder strap connectors. So what I'm going to do is grab the front or back panel, they're the same, line it up on my ruler on the bottom so that I can get them nice and centered. Call that by Kaya Papaya. How do you know where to fold? Where to fold them? I just kind of eyeball it. But to fold them over, like where to stop the fold from the top, the pattern tells you. All right, so then what I do so that these don't go on here lopsided is I'm gonna take a ruler, get that nice and straight, take off the back of my double-sided tape, butt that right up against the ruler in the bottom, and push that tape in. That way I know that this is nice and straight. Which purse has the longest shoulder strap? Um, the Big B has the longest shoulder strap, but if you custom order a bag, you can ask for it to be longer or shorter. <laughs> All right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. So glad you're on, have her this much. So I prepped a zip around wallet, which we're gonna come to later that's drying, and then this collette. So you haven't missed much. All right, here we go. This is taped on, so again, this is going to stay in place until we sew it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other panel. So take off the tape, butt this up against the roller, make sure it's nice and straight, and then push that tape down. I may ask, since you're stationed in Hawaii, what does your husband or family do? My husband's in the Army. Okay. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and sew this on. So that is what it's looking like. I'm so mad on my walk side. I don't want much faster. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hopefully you got some good exercise. What size thread do you use? And do you use the same size on all your items? So the thread is typically um, based off of the material that you're sewing and the machine that you're using. So on this machine, I use the same thread weight on everything, and it is Mara 70. And my thread is by Guterman. It's a polyester. Oh, you know what? Earlier I threw away my little thing that I tuck underneath here, so I need to go grab one really quick. I'm sorry, but what kind of tape do you use? It is um, double-sided tape by Waywack. So I use just a little piece of Peltex that goes underneath my sewing foot. That way when I'm coming down, um, my foot is on top of the metal. So when I'm coming back down, I just tuck that right underneath. That way it doesn't scrape my vinyl being um, right here, going from the top of this down. That's what that looks like stitched on. How do I know if you can do my requested orders? I'm not sure if I understand that question. Just drop down all the cop print. Thanks. Clip my thread. What are you going to have or do any minutes? I have, um, I think I only have one. That's available. All of my other ones are sold out, but I am going to be restocking those soon. Probably this upcoming, well, I don't know, probably this upcoming week I'll have a couple. All right, here we go. This is what they look like stitched on, and then there is a rivet that goes right in the center, so I'm just going to mark where that goes, and then we'll install those after I sew the other ones on.
out my friends. I have a um, trash can down here, so I'm not throwing these on the floor, if anybody was wondering. So I need to check back with you on them. Do you do Disney? No, I don't do anything that is um, trademark or copyrighted. So sign up for custom orders is in my Facebook group. I'm not really sure what the question that you're asking is. No, don't. I know how important housework is. I was actually just talking to my husband today. Like, we need to reevaluate this chore um, list so I can give you a couple of mine. He wasn't really falling for it. Isn't it crazy how the sewing machine sound can instantly put you at ease? I mean, when you get some made. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're asking. I don't know if you're, like, putting one part of the question and then coming back and finishing. So if you can put it all in. Bad kids, no. Who signed up? What's the time frame? So right now, for example, the ones that I tagged last week, I think they signed up four weeks ago. So it's about a four-week wait for me to get to you, and then it takes a couple of weeks. This is vinyl. Okay, so I marked where I need to poke out my holes. This is a leather hole punch. I got this from Amazon. So I'm gonna do it on all four. I just roll the fabric so I can get this over it and I'm not poking through any other parts of the bag. What's the white plastic I use and under the foot? It's just a piece of Peltex. Just so I don't scratch my vinyl on the way down coming from the um, top of that hardware. All right, my holes are punched. I'm just gonna grab my rivets. These are medium double capped rivets. I get these from Tandy Leather. And then this is a rivet press I got from Gold Star Sewing. Do you have an affiliate link from Amazon? No. Nope. But if you want a link, just send me an email and I can I can send you a link of where I got whatever you want. But I'm not affiliated. I don't get paid for any recommendation. I don't want to. Just so I can stay honest and not have to worry about selling somebody else's stuff. How's Hawaii? It's nice. Hi, Joanne. I'm good. How are you? This is going to be so pretty. All right, rivets are on. I'm going to line it up in my guy. Give it a little press. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Getting ready for work tomorrow. Ugh. back in. It's sold out. <laughs> I already stocked a couple things in the out print, like the Lola, the milk books, and they just sold out last week. But I do have some owl stuff coming um, out probably in the next week or two. Are those just for looks? Yeah, the rivets. In my opinion, they're just for looks because of all these stitches right here. This this shoulder strap handle is not going anywhere. So in my opinion, it's just for looks. So if you buy the pattern and you don't have a rivet press or rivets, I would say you don't need them. This isn't a desk. This is um, the table that came with the sewing machine. Okay, let me add my name plate. I ordered some new nameplates over the weekend. Not nameplates, but um, similarly to these little charms that I put on a couple of the bags, I ordered 
a new style from a new supplier and hopefully the quality is going to be good enough so I can, you know, share it with you guys and tell you, go get this. Hopefully. I'm hopeful. And that's just carrying this print. I know a lot of people, a lot of people ask about a coffee print, so I, I think I'm going to have to. Okay, I'm going to get my ruler, find the center between my two shoulder strap connectors. Line this up, make a couple marks. I didn't even realize how popular this print was, or will be, or was going to be. Alright, I'm going to add my backing. Use my super sophisticated butter knife. So this is going to be the front of the bag. And the next step is to add a zipper. I don't know if the pattern calls for a double zipper, but I use a double zipper. This bag opens all the way down to the side right here. So instead of just opening it up like from one side and then having to close it here, you can keep the zipper in the middle and then you can open it up. Either just open up the top and get in or open it all the way in the bottom. So I really like using a double zipper for that. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't looked at the pattern in a really long time. So I don't know if it calls for one. I cut off the zipper end. If you've seen me make this um, bag before, you know that it just gives you a, like an extra quarter of an inch opening. When is your hubby coming home? He's home. He's downstairs. Do we have the same coffee print or are you doing better? So Benita stays. Um, I would probably redo this. No prints are guaranteed to be like an original where it can't be duplicated. Um, so it would probably be this, but like if you wanted to order a custom order in a coffee print and you wanted something different, then I can send you like what I have. But but since this has already been designed, I would probably reuse this. Did you have some time home every night? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he comes home every night. He better come home every night. All right, so I'm gonna stitch the zipper on. I know what you mean. His um, MOS or job in the army doesn't call for him to travel a lot. I mean, he might travel, but it's only like three days here, a week there. He's not like out in the field for a month. <coughs> this pattern, the Khaled, is by Kaya Papaya. You can get it on their website. Alright, zipper is sewn on to the outside of the bag. The notification when you get the notebook from my friend and ask it for my email. I'll get a notification when you get to the notebook from my friend. I'm asking because my email has been. Um, is this for a custom order? Is he home for good? Um, I mean, for the most part, he does travel every now and then. Okay, so I'm going to next add one side of the interior. This is a slip pocket. The other side has a zipper pocket. I add these on with my domestic sewing machine right here. Just because it's easier, that machine, to work with thinner fabric than this machine. I've had a nice weekend. Yeah. When are you heading to Alaska? I think in September, sometime this month, probably closer to the end of the month. But that'll only be a couple days. Vacay. Alright, so I'm going to line up the interior to the zipper and then we're going to stitch that in place. But the fabric you said came from Amazon. No, this fabric didn't come from Amazon. This fabric came from Joanne. I don't get fabric from Amazon. Did I say Amazon?
I hope not. I don't get my fabric from Amazon. What part in Alaska? Anchorage, I think. There's a couple of bases in Alaska. I know Anchorage is one of them, and I think that's where we're going. Okay, interior is attached to the zipper. Now we're going to open this up, and then we're gonna do a top stitch along the top. So before I do that, I'm gonna clip the bottoms so that everything is nice and even before I top stitch, as well as the sides. Oh, cool. St. Bernard. Nice. I have no idea where those places are. I've never been to Alaska. This will be my first trip. And that's the only reason why I'm going. Because I've never been there before. And he'll be there for just a couple of days. And I was like, that's just quick enough to dip in. Do a couple of fun things. And then come home. What's the coolest place you've lived? I would probably say Hawaii. Okay. So now we're going to do a top stitch right underneath this zipper all the way down. If you notice, it's kind of bubbled. So the um, top stitch will help it lay nice and flat and it just gives it a really pretty finish also. Where can I see the prices? Butterbags.com, my website. I don't know why they're short of a minute. I'll show you guys up close what it looks like. So this is the top stitch right here. I don't know if you can see it that well on the lighter color. And then we're going to do the absolute exact same thing for the back. We're going to sew the zipper on and then we're going to add the other interior lining. Hi! Isn't it pretty? This is a custom order for Miss Benita. I get some of these clips. I'm low because of that um, wallet. What color thread are you using? It's kind of like a camel color. So it's not like the dark, um, the dark brown. I don't know if you can see like the difference. It's, it's a little darker than the main print, but I thought the contrasting color it looks phenomenal. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. I love a little contrast. I'm so glad I found you. Me too. At first, um, I didn't have this polka dot in stock when Benita placed her custom order, so she had chosen something else. And then after I got it in stock, and then I got her fabric in, I was like, oh, I wonder if she would like this. So I sent her a photo of the exterior with the um, polka dot, and she decided on this one instead of the first one. First time seeing you. Oh, welcome. We lived in Wapahu. Nice. Finished making a big B. Three flaws, but I love it. Yay! The big B is such a fun, in my opinion, and the more that you make it, it'll definitely become a lot easier. Flaws are, I think, required on any new pattern. I still have flaws whenever I make a pattern for the first time. So don't worry about that. But the more that you make, I think it's such a fun pattern because it comes together so quickly. And you can really, this is the big B. The main panel is the star of the show, right? You have a little bit of accent, but this is going to be your star. And I really like that. So I think it's just a fun pattern. I might be a little biased because it's mine. I love the big B too. I made four big Bs. And the more that you do it, would you say that it, it gets a little easier? Okay, here is the zippered pocket. If you haven't seen me make a bag before, the bag is sewn inside out. And then we turn it right side out through our zippered pocket. So the zippered pocket bottom is open. 
and we're going to pull the whole bag through this little pocket at the end. So I'm going to attach this side of the lining to the zipper and then we'll sew that on. Have you seen garments? Have I, I, you might have been sewn. Yeah, I actually started sewing clothes and then I transitioned. That's my photo, the finished one. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. Did you post it on my um, group page? The one with the tan? I got my bag. There's somewhere to get the pattern. This pattern? Yes. This is the Colette by Kaya Papaya. You can just Google search that and it'll come up. Have you ever designed a pattern? Yeah. I have quite a few for sale. I have, well not quite a few, I have a passport pattern for sale, I have the Big B pattern for sale, and then in about a week and a half I'm releasing my wristlet pattern. Right now I have a kit for the wristlet um, that you can purchase. All of the pre-orders are going out Friday, and then the following Friday is when the pattern will be released. But if you're interested in making a wristlet, it's beginner friendly. It is, um, I'm gonna, I have a YouTube tutorial that I'm releasing with the pattern and that is done on a domestic sewing machine so you do not need a big sewing machine. So right now, the Sunflower Wristlet Kits are available if you'd like to purchase that on my website. And then on the 15th of September, the wristlet pattern will be available. Tempting a Lola. Yay! I love the Lola. That's another fun pattern. Where the hell are cosplay? So excited to get out of the pattern. Oh, thank you! I think the yours went out on Friday. All of my orders that um, I got on Friday, I put in the mail on Friday. You have any patterns that you're working on creating behind the scenes also? You mean like prints or like patterns? I have quite a few patterns that I'm working on. The Becca, which is this bag right here, that's my pattern. That will be released. October, I have a notebook holder pattern that I'm releasing. So yeah, I got quite a few in the works. All right, that top stitching is done. I'm going to sew the end of the zipper. This is the end where I cut off my zipper end. So I'm just sewing that, just so when I open up my zipper, it doesn't accidentally fly off. Yeah, I'm gonna space a little bit. Yay! Okay, so here is the top stitching that I just did on the back. And then now what we're going to do is add the bottom. So here's what we're working with so far. We have the front and the back of the outside, the inside. This is half of the side. So remember how I said that it opens up um, like three, half of the side. This is how it opens up. We're gonna add the bottom part of the side later. So the next part is to add the bottom. So I'm just going to get all of my layers out of the way except for the front. Grab my bottom, I line this with Peltex. I love that everything is done by hand. Line up my bottom with the end of the front, clip that in place, and then we're going to stitch that down. And then I'm going to open it up and do a top stitch. So clip my thread. So we're going to open it up and then we're going to do a top stitch right along the edge of the bottom. So that is what the top stitch looks like. It's so hard to see with the light. And then now we're going to connect it to the back. 
we sewed it on the front, now we're sewing it on the back, and that's going to complete the whole outside, for the most part, except for that side piece. Do you make many backpacks? I think you meant backpacks, yes I do. They're all sold out. I don't have any in stock. bottom is now sewn totally on and then I need to open it up and do the top stitching on the other side of the bottom. This is why I sewed an end on my zipper so that when I open up the zipper it doesn't accidentally come all the way off which I've done before. Okay so I want to make sure that my thread all of my sides are out of the way so I don't accidentally sew those down. Line up the bottom. And then do my top stitching. Twisted up top. I might have to fix that. No, nope, I think we might be good. Okay. Bottom is stitched on. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So now the bottom is stitched on and has a top stitching. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the interior, for the lining. Get my zippers back. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing for the inside. So here's the outside, the bottom is on, and then we're gonna add the bottom for the inside lining. Hey, Tammy. I didn't even see you jump on. How's your Labor Day? Do you add feet to the bottom? Not on this one, only because the bottom is so narrow. Um, I mean, I probably could, I couldn't even get to where it would look good. And besides, the way this bag rolls, some of the front and the back kind of um, touch the ground when you set it down. It stands straight up, but this part, this front and the back part of the bag, it kind of flattens down. So it's kind of pointless to have purse feet because the bag will still touch the ground. Hopefully that makes sense. Good. All right. So the bottom is stitched on that side and then we're going to sew it on to the other side. And we're almost done. Just a couple more steps. So now what I'm going to do is stitch a little faux stop on this end and then I'm going to cut off this excess zipper. That way we can finish up the side. Alright, I'm going to clip the edge of the zipper. I'm going to hit that with the lighter so it does not unravel. And then now we're going to go ahead and finish up the side. So here's what we're looking like. This is half of the side. So we're going to add the bottom half. This gets a little funky the way that it's done, but just trust the process. So here is the bottom side for the interior. 
This is the bottom side for the exterior. So what I'm going to do is clip the exterior to the exterior. So this is what it's essentially going to look like the side and then we're going to sew that down to the bag. So exterior is clipped to the exterior and then the same thing, interior is clipped to the interior. So that's what I'm doing right now. How long does it take or how many do you make in a day? It really depends on the style that I'm doing. Um, I usually don't make the same bag like all day. But for example, this morning I made three Lola's. This is a Lola right here. And then I'm making this, I'm making a wallet. And I'll probably have time to make something else. But if I was to make this bag right here, this Becca, there's a lot of steps involved in that one. I can probably only do like maybe two or three of those a day. So it depends. It looks so confusing. <laughs> I know. You got to trust the process though. It'll come out. I'm going to take you to learn how to do that. Um, so I've been making bags for almost 10 years. But I did sew before that, so I knew like the basic sewing skills. But it took a couple years to like perfect my craft. If you've never sewn before, you just don't do it overnight, so it just takes time. Have you made any more Denvers? No, not since the custom order of the horse Denver that I made the last time. Because those are so big and um, so expensive to make and to purchase, I'm just going to keep those custom orders right now. Alright, so I'm stitching outside to outside, inside to inside. I know it's going to be confusing, but I'll show you when we're done. It'll make more sense once you see it done. Watching for a little bit. I don't know that I understand that stuff. Good! <laughs> I know it's confusing, especially if you've never made this bag before, and especially if you don't sew. You're like, what in the world is she talking about outside, inside? Just clipping all my thread, trimming this up a little bit. Can not wait to see the release of the unique pattern? The wristlet? That's going to be a fun one. And that one is, that one is really easy to make. Alright, so here we go. This is our inside. This is our outside. And so now, because they're stitched independently of each other, they're not attached. So we have the inside and the outside. And then now what I'm gonna do is just stitch right in the center, you might be able to see this, and connect the stitching right here. So I'm just gonna clip those together, stitch in the middle to connect those stitching. Those stitches. So now they're connected. Okay, and then now what we're going to do is open up the exterior and then I'm going to do a top stitching right along here again so that lays nice and flat. So I'm going to clip back the inside so I don't stitch that down. So now we're done. This is the side of our bag, top stitch. And then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. Rolling in the day. <coughs> Can you guys hear that? Like sometimes I wonder, is it too loud? Is it too soft? You probably can't hear it as good when I'm sewing. It's just so fast. I need to sell this pattern. This isn't my pattern, so I can't sell it. But if you want to buy it, you can. It is the Colette by Kaya Papaya. That's who made this pattern. Sounds fine. 
Okay, good. That's okay. It's a pretty pattern. Firm up everything, clip my threads. So really there's essentially after this two more steps. We're going to sew these sides to the back and then um, do our shoulder straps. And that's it. Bag's done. Okay, I'm clipping my inside lining out of the way so I can top stitch my side. Oh, you know what? I didn't trim this. Can you just buy another shirt machine today? What would be your pick? This one. This is a Juki 1181. I love this. I don't have a lot of experience with any other um, industrial sewing machines, so I wouldn't really have anything to compare this to, but this one does everything I need it to. Your bottom is different. Have you adopted the pattern? Yeah, my side is different than what the pattern calls. I adjusted it a little bit. Okay. So everything's done. Now we're just going to sew the side down to the front and back of the bag. So I'm gonna start with the interior and then we'll do the exterior. So I'm gonna clip my outside fabric down to keep that out of the way. I'm gonna grab some pins and then I am going to clip the side to the inside of the bag. So this isn't really a fun part, it's just going to take a couple minutes for me to pin it around. So now is like the perfect time to Q&A if you have any questions, like PG rated. I have a love hate relationship with my Cherokee. Yeah, it's taken me, I mean even still to this day, I've had this machine for about six years, five, six years, and I'm still learning to this day. I'm just pinning the inside. The inside is made from cotton, so you can use pins. You cannot use pins on the outside because that is the faux leather, and if you poke a hole in faux leather, the hole doesn't go away. The weaving in cotton is um, so that the hole will clear up. My tummy keeps slipping, yeah, that's tough. I don't think that's ever happened to this sewing machine. But I wouldn't even know who to call if it happens here in Hawaii. Do you do any personalization? Yeah, I do. I have all of my vinyl printed. So like this print, I didn't even have this in stock until I got a custom order for it. I've done wallets with people's grandchildren, like pictures of their kids. Um, this is my passport holder and it has my name on the outside so I can because I have it printed I mean the sky is the limit with the customization options as long as it's not trademark or copywritten I've been on for a while Lynn where have you been we're almost done with this bag but I still have a wallet to make did you get the metal tags on Etsy yeah, I did. Um, I got it from Metal Things Art on Etsy. Quality has not been great the last two orders that I've gotten from them, so I don't personally recommend them. I mean, you can use them if you want, but I wouldn't order from them again. But I just ordered some over the weekend from a different supplier, so hopefully the quality is a lot better and I can share with you guys where I get that from. So you can have a, a supplier too. Do you have a wallet pattern that is yours? Um, yes, but I don't think I've ever sewn it live before. All right, last one. Okay, so the side is now pinned. I'm gonna go ahead and sew that down. She did a custom dragon live Yep. 
Should we be posting this live on YouTube? Yes. So, without poking myself, I'm going to open up the zipper. There we go. I was wondering why I wasn't bending like I needed it to. You should be lazy on a holiday Monday. All right. Coming around that corner. That curve. Trying not to stick myself. I'm keeping my exterior out of the way. Just remember, this is the inside lining that we're sewing. All right. Does it break tomatoes? Sometimes. I scared the crap out of myself today. I was sewing over a zipper on my other sewing machine, and the needle totally smashed. Like, it flew up in my face. Thank goodness it didn't hit my eye. Scared the crap out of me. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. What island are you on? Oahu. I'm on vacation, nice. Lucky. So I'm clipping my outside out of the way. And then I'm going to take my inside lining and clip that down. Yeah, I'm on Oahu. The same island with Honolulu and Waikiki. How often do you take custom orders? So I have a sign up going on in my Facebook group. And then every week, um, I just go down that list. And I get about three to four people every week. So there's their wait time, but I mean, if it's something that you want, you're more than welcome to sign up there. But I have to restock items that are sold out, I have to get patterns released, and I have to do custom orders. So it's like non-stop around here. I need to hire, I think I've decided to hire like a housekeeper, just so it's one last thing I have to do and I can work. What is your Facebook group? Butter bags. So on Facebook, if you search butter bags, there's going to be a bunch of tabs at the top, like people, pages, groups. If you click on groups, you'll see mine. And then you request to join. So I have a Facebook page, my business page, and then I have a group that you have to request to join. The sign up for the custom orders is in the group. Would you consider selling your vinyl designs? Probably not. Um, I've been talked into by some of you guys. Um, I do have my sunflower print available for the wristlet pattern that I'm releasing in a couple weeks. So there's a wristlet kit on my website with my print and vinyl. But like just the blanket sell of my prints, no. Just because that, I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but I can only foresee how much time it would take for me cutting all of those pieces of vinyl out. I won't be able to work or make bags and do custom orders, so forth. It is 2.15 in the afternoon. All right, let's sew this down. The prepping, the pinning everything together takes longer than it does to actually sew.
side is done. I need to make sure that that zipper pocket, I don't think I opened it up. Because remember, we're going to turn the bag right side out through this pocket, so I need to make sure that zipper's open. Instead of housekeeper, you should get an assistant. <sighs> yeah, but I would need her to clean my uh, toilets, and I don't think an assistant would be interested in that. All right, so last up of sewing the bag is to attach the side for the exterior. I don't want to look like I don't want the very first time. This is I bought one a week ago. You bought what a week ago? Shoreless. Yeah. I think I'm just at a point where I'd rather spend the money and have the extra time. It's a group or a page? It's a group. And you know it's the right one because um, like the home page picture for the group, I'm wearing like camel pants and the bag that I'm holding has a anchor on the front of it. Don't forget the zipper pocket, thank you. Because I sure did. I said all of that and then forgot. I requested, okay. Once I'm done with the live, I'll approve. As long as you're, like you've had your profile for at least a year and you don't look sketchy. Yes, 100%. I won't even let my husband help me. Okay, so the side is all clipped down to the front and the back. I'm going to open up my zipper pocket. And then <clears throat> this bottom curve right here, when I take the clip off to sew it, sometimes the material will shift because of the way that I have to hold this bag when I'm sewing it. So I'm gonna add a couple of staples just around this little curve part. I'm gonna take them out when I'm done, but the staples keeps the fabric from shifting once I take the clip off to sew it. You're sketchy. <laughs> okay, good. Don't be sketchy. Okay, so the staple is like right on the edge. So I'm going to sew outside of it. So I'm not going to sew on, on the staples. I'm just gonna add some just around that curve. This allows my seam to stay nice and even around the entire bag because my, my material is not shifting. Staples is brilliant, right? I didn't even, I mean, I didn't come up with it. I saw it, someone else did it, and I was like, duh. Why have I not been doing this? And then you just take them out when you're done. Nobody knows. Okay. Set that aside, set this aside. Found it, okay, good. All right, let's set this down. The straight ways, you obviously don't need to um, staple them because it's easy to sew the straight ones, but for the curves, it's really hard to keep the material from moving. Staples to the rest of it. That side is done. Let's take them out. Nobody knows. And we are not telling. No, we are not. Where did you buy your sewing machine? I think I got it on Amazon. Like I said, I bought it like six years ago. Okay. And then let's do the same thing over here. You're 
This goes a lot faster without having to pin. But again, the pins, I could use clips for the inside, but the pins do the same thing that the staples do. It holds that fabric from shifting. So that's why I just take a couple extra minutes just to do it that way. That way I know my seam allowance is gonna be nice and perfect. table no it came with the sewing machine a couple more clips and then grab the stapler the zippers open I came back and did it Hydrated. It's an industrial sewing machine. Yep. It's a Juki 1181. All right. Staples. Outside of our seam allowance, so I'm not going to sew them. love doing this yes I do this is my full-time job and I work seven days a week all right I'm done with that sew this up love this sewing machine I used to sew online oh nice yeah they're good machines and they're supposed to they're supposed to um, last forever like 30, 40 years. I'm gonna turn on my iron when we turn this right side out. I stick the iron on the inside to get out any wrinkles. maintenance for sure which I mean there's not really a whole lot of maintenance you oil the outside this is a self oiling machine there's a couple of little marks on the outside that you oil but um, I'm in a Juki Facebook group and I was asking about the belt like if I needed to change the belt and somebody said that they've had theirs for like 15 years and they've never changed the belt so I don't know what maintenance you would need to do you work on holidays too yes how did you learn to use the machine? Just did it. Okay, so our bag is done. We just need to turn it right side out. So the inside is tucked in here. This is the inside and then this is the outside. So let me just double check all my stitches and my seams, make sure everything caught. It did, it did, it did. So now we're just gonna turn it right side out. And then all we have to do is sew these shoulder straps. And this bag is done. Breaking time. Yep. Just push and roll. So nice and slow. So sometimes it gets a little wrinkly. You can't iron the outside because it's vinyl. It'll melt it. So I'm just going to put my iron on the inside, give it a little steam, and that'll get out any wrinkles. It gets made within three weeks, but the waiting list right now is about a month long. This is a custom order, yep. Nice. All right, so I'm sewing my zipper pocket shut. Hi, 
Thanks, April. Everything's nice. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm gonna tuck that zipper pocket in. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Get my lining nice and straight. So, somebody was asking me if I put purse feet on the bottom of these. This bag is designed where some of the front and the back um, actually touch the ground. So, there would really be no way to keep this entire thing off just because of the shape of it. All right, let me get my iron. I'm just gonna grab my iron, stick it down, got steam. Then I'll just hit my lining with a little steam. Make sure you do not touch the outside. And that gets out any uh, wrinkles on the bottom. So, bag is all done. All we have to do is um, make these shoulder straps. So I'm going to set this aside and grab the straps. I really want, this is for Miss Benita. Such a pretty bag. Alright. So I have two shoulder straps. Calling all coffee lovers. Oh, Java. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to add that. Alright, so I'm just prepping my shoulder straps. She's going to have to make a collection. Yes, that is a fact. I started something. Yes, she did, Benita. This is Miss Benita's bag. And then um, we're doing a zip around wallet after this. My hands are shaking because of my coffee. I'm like a one cup a day kind of person. I can't have any more than one cup or I'll start shaking. I like nice. So it's black. Yeah, black would look pretty too. All right, so I'm taking double-sided half-inch tape, putting it right down the center. This is our shoulder strap. And the double sided tape is just going to, we're going to fold this a couple of times. And so the tape's just going to hold those folds in place. I didn't coffee all day long. I couldn't do it. How do you eat today? Yes, I did. But I probably need to eat something else. I ate something at like. I don't know, 10 a.m. It's 2.30 here. Is that too much caffeine? Yeah, jittery. All right, so I fold up the bottom, which gives us a nice clean edge. We do not have a raw edge on our shoulder straps. And then I'm just going to fold it to the halfway mark, just like that, all the way down. And then we're going to turn around and do the same thing. I don't want coffee, but I'll have to. I drink tea at nighttime. I love to have a really good hot cup of tea at night. Chamomile is like my go-to, but chai is really good too. I'm drinking coffee right now. All right, and then we're gonna fold it over or turn it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. So that is folded halfway. How's my burger sounding? I think he's taking a nap. He hasn't been feeling so good. He got home from, um, he was in Australia for a month. And then he got home and um, I think I gave him what I got when I was on vacation in Tennessee. This I, you know, I've never had a um, energy drink before. Yeah, Yorkshire tea is really good. So 
Sometimes when I'm looking down, I miss one of y'all's comments. Never had an energy drink yet. I'm like a Pepsi, or not Pepsi. I'm like a water. I can drink water all day, every day. And every now and then I'll have a um, Gatorade. You like the smell of coffee, but you don't drink it? It smells really good. All right, one shoulder strap is done. That's what it looks like stitched up. Ripples are awesome. Pepsi Zero. Gatorade gives you jitters, really? My husband is a Pepsi drinker. It's almost 3 a.m. Oh no, I don't understand anything about how much people stuff. It's late. All right, this is the other shoulder strap. We're gonna do it the exact same way and then we're going to add it to the bag with rivets. Do you drink vitamin water? No. I don't really drink a lot of Gatorade. I'll probably have like three a week. I drink water all day long though. All right, how many people do we have from the beginning of the video where we started the zip around wallet? What about wine? No, I'm not a wine drinker. I'll drink it if there's like a get together and I don't have any other choices. But I'm not a big wine drinker. I've even gone to like wine tasting just to see if like I'm just not having the right wine. But I don't know, it's just my palate I guess is not that sophisticated. You yeah, okay, good. So you'll be able to see everything come full circle. I saw the going down. Okay, good. All right, coming back up. From my thread, keep it clean, keep it cute. No way for me in the water pot, yeah. All right, shoulder straps done. Let's grab the back. I have to start. Okay, good. Grab some clips. We're going to clip it in place first and then we're going to rivet it on. Make sure it's not twisted. I've just done it for a long time. Okay, good. All you guys have done from the start, we're about to go back to that. I want to make sure that my straps are nice and even. And then we're going to go ahead and grab some rivets. sure that my layers are lined up and that I'm centered. Poke that hole, add my rivet, and then the back 
back with the rivet. You make Bible covers for custom orders just because, you know, there's so many different size Bibles. Um, I wouldn't even like pre-make them and put them online for sale just because it might not fit your Bible. So yes, I can. It would just be a custom order. Is this the large collet? I only have a regular collet. I like the cat one, but the cat's bow. But not the cat's bow. I like the cat one, but not the cat's bow. Okay. This is a um, leather hole punch. I got it from Amazon. Thanks, Paige. Pattern. All right, cool. Thanks. I like your shirt, but like not your pants. That's how it comes across. Just FYI. Rivets on, and then we're going to set them with the rivet press. Made it on. Not did have to join. I'm glad. Thanks for joining. originally Florida. Isn't it pretty? I cannot take credit for this. Bonita designed this entire bag. She chose the outside print, inside print. So we have a zippered pocket on one side zipper matches the outside and then we have a slip pocket on this side oh, I'm glad you like it Benita <clears throat> it's a nice size bag too and then you can open it um, like just the top just to get in or you can open it all the way down the side and it opens up nice and wide Thank you guys. All right, let me go grab the um, stuff to finish the zipper on wallet that goes with this. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Yeah, it is. It's super roomy, but it's not like too big. I um, used to use this bag whenever I flew just because it can hold a sweater, it can hold my big headphones, it can hold a wallet, it can hold my book. Like it holds so much, but it's not that big. All right, let me go grab the other stuff. Yeah, the sunflower is the same style as a collet. Okay, so here is our zip around wallet that we've already prepped. This is what it's going to look like on this side and then on this side with, of course, the zipper on the inside. Here's our lining. We're going to start with, let's start with the lining. I've prepped everything for this wallet, so it should go by pretty quickly. I know it's kind of late where some of you guys are. So the first step, this is, in case anybody's interested, is the Maggie 55 Classic Zipper On Wallet. The first step is to sew down the sides. I don't think that I've modified this pattern at all. The wallets you make are the size, <laughs> the size of your purse. If you like small, me too. I actually, I don't use a bag anymore. Like my go-to bag used to be this Lola right here because I like it small also, but I've actually recently switched to a fanny pack and I just wear it like crossbody. I actually made myself a new um, fanny pack over the weekend. I'll show it to you guys if you're interested when I'm done with this. I just got to run downstairs and get it. Another first. Okay, 
So we have, just, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because the stitching is brown. Show you, okay. So the first step is just to sew this side. And remember how we clip the sides? We use the pinking shears to get rid of the extra fabric, but then I added some notches on the side. That just helps this open up because there's a little curve there. And this is in your fanny bag, okay. Let me get all these off. Clean. I like fanny packs too. Oh, I'm sure yours are nice too. Okay, so here is the credit card panel. I pre made this. This is the color of the thread that I'm using. You can actually see it a lot better on the black. It's kind of like a camel. So it's a little darker than the, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the, I don't think you can see it that well. So it's lighter than the color of the handles, but it's a really pretty contrast. So I pre-made the credit card slots, so the next step is to add those. Um, so I can't give prices online, but it's all listed on my website, butterbags.com. So I'm going to center this. And then clip it in place. Can I see the sunflower? Yeah, of course. When I'm done with this wallet, I can show you guys anything. Okay, I'm just going to trim off the excess. Are any of these for sale? The ones that I'm making are for a custom order. They are not for sale. But everything else on my website and everything hanging up are pre-made and ready to ship so they are for sale just not this order unless Benita wants to part with it which I doubt she does okay so that is clipped in place and then we're going to do the exact same thing over here okay have a good night thanks for watching do you like using polyester thread mine is polyester And I like it. Yeah, I ship. If you purchase something on my website, it goes out either the same day if my mail hasn't been picked up or the next business day. Like tomorrow, if you order something today. This order is going out tomorrow. Your website on here yeah it's linked in my tiktok profile so if you go to my profile underneath the follow button is a link to my website you can get to it there can someone order a coffee one that would be a custom order and i have a waiting list for my custom orders right now which is about a month long but yeah you can okay Here's the other credit card panel. So the zip around wall is going to be like this. So one looks like it's upside down, but when it's all done, it'll be like this. So I'm going to stitch those in place. What design is the Becca? These are music notes. I think it's listed as sheet music on my website. shifted but it didn't. <clears throat> do you do wholesale? No. Because I make everything it's impossible for me to make like a whole bunch of something and wholesale them. It's just not lucrative and it would just take me forever. So unfortunately I don't. Facebook, will you let me know? Yeah, I will tag you. When it's your turn, I will tag you. 
And then if you want to see where you are on the list, just scroll up. I comment under each one when it's your turn, and so you can scroll up to the top of the list and see where my last comment is and just see how many people are ahead of you. That's why I wanted to do it on Facebook, just for a transparency perspective. Those are stitched on. You're not going to see the size. Those are going to be covered up. Do you get overwhelmed? No. I don't let myself get overwhelmed. I mean, it is what it is, right? I wish I could do more of them and I can get through it faster. I just can't. And so I just kind of accepted my fate. It just, it is what it is. You know, I've to fit. What should I order? Um, the Becca right here, the... Big B, and I think, like, depending on how big your laptop is, it might fit the call up. If you go to my website and click on the uh, menu, the drop down menu at the top, you can shop by style. And then, if you go to the handbags tab, all of my handbag styles are listed. They all have the measurements, so you can kind of figure out which one works for your laptop. All right. I'm using Fabri-Tac glue. When are you usually live? Um, it varies whenever I can get, get live. I don't have a schedule. Okay, these little side flaps go right over the credit card panel right here. So I line it up, put it under, and then fold it over, and then I clip it in place. I didn't see the measurements. Oh, no worries. You're welcome. This is the Becca pattern you'll be releasing. Yes. It sure is. Last one, and then we're gonna set this aside to dry and I'm gonna work on the exterior, which the only step with that is just to add the zipper. So what we're essentially doing is we're making this, um, remember how we sewed our handbag inside out? That way all of the raw edges were on the inside and you can't see them from the outside. We're essentially creating that by making the raw edges on the inside. So this is, there are no raw edges on the outside. What we're going to wind up doing is putting this inside here, sewing them together so that way we have our um, wallet. So I'm setting that aside to dry. I'm going to work on this by adding our zipper. I just ship within the US, sorry. Thanks, Tammy. So the first step is just like the interior, we're going to sew the side down. We're gonna add a couple stitches on the side. I'm going to Instead of back stitching to lock those stitches in, I'm going to pull my thread through and tie it off. That way it's seamless on the outside. What is the white stuff in the middle? This is craft text. I get mine from Amazon. This is on paper. The inside is craft text. It makes it sturdy and stiff. Okay, tying off my threads. I'll show you up close what that looks like. So here are the stitches right here. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're welcome. Thanks, Hollywood.
All right, last one. What is the purpose of these stitches? Good question. When we sew the um, interior and the exterior together, we're only going to sew from here all the way around and then from here all the way around. So when we sew the inside and the outside together, we're not going to stitch the center of it. So these are like faux stitches. These are going to connect the top and the bottom stitches when we have the inside stitched down. And we don't sew the side together because what we're going to wind up doing after the zipper is on, any extra part of the zipper, we're going to tuck this into the side. So we can't sew this closed or we won't be able to tuck the excess on the inside. So instead of just leaving that blank, we have faux stitches. Hopefully that makes sense. It'll make more sense once I'm done with it. Another question, please, if I change my mind when my turn comes. Yeah, of course, absolutely. If you change your idea on what you want, if you change your idea on your print, if you decide that you don't want a custom order, that's, you are not being held to anything. You are absolutely okay. I'm sure the person under you would not mind if you cancel your order. All right. Now I'm going to draw a line around the outside where my zipper stops. The pattern shows you where this is. I've just memorized it. Our custom order is more. Nope, they're the exact same price. You are not charged anything extra for a custom order. Unless you want to add something to it. Like these don't come with wristlet straps. If you want to add a wristlet strap to this, you can. It would just be a little bit more. I love your job. Thanks. You have so many prints. Yes. I do. I have this little pattern piece that I use for the corners. How is Hawaii? Hawaii is good. So I'm just lining up my lines. I'm gonna need to eat something after this. Can't stop shaking. Is the Lola the smaller purse? Yes. Did they get the fires under the control? Yeah, so I don't live on that island. I live on Oahu. That happened on Maui. Are you affected by fires? No. Okay. My line is marked where my zipper goes. Now what I'm going to do is use quarter inch double-sided tape I'm going to put it right on that line that I just drew. That's going to hold my zipper in place while I sew it on. Is that pattern piece something you can buy? Um, I just bought a plastic cutting board from the dollar store and just traced it out on it. So yeah, you can buy it and then just make it yourself from the pattern. All right, I'm doing it on both sides. And then remember, we're not gonna sew down the center. I appreciate what you so much. Well, if you miss any of this, or you wanna, you have something to do and you need to leave, I'm gonna upload this to my YouTube channel. So on my TikTok profile, if you click on the Instagram icon <clears throat> above the follow, then um, it'll show you my Instagram and it'll show you my YouTube channel and you can just follow me there. Um, I've been trying to upload my lives there just in case somebody misses it. I'm just marking the center of my zipper. And then I'm going to take one side of my tape off. Line up the center of my zipper to the center line right here. Mm -hmm. 
line that also up with that line that I drew. I'm gonna open up my zipper and then follow this around my corner and then back down that line. Then I'm just gonna clip this bottom down so I don't accidentally sew it and then do the same thing over here. Follow it around that curve. Line it up. Flip the bottom out of the way. So that is what it's going to look like after it's stitched on. That's the amount of zipper tape. So I'm going to sew this in place, make sure it's pressed down to my tape so it doesn't shift while I'm sewing it. Pop my little corners over and then sew that down. And I'm gonna start at the top. Remember those little fake stitches that we did? I'm gonna start at the top of that fake stitch, go around and end at the top of this fake stitch. slow around the corners. Pull my threads through. Again, so it's nice and seamless on the outside. Does this take a lot of math? Um, no. Just following directions. The pattern the pattern tells you where to sew, how to sew, so you don't have to do any math. What foot are you using? Just the foot that came with it. Can I see the inside corner? Yeah, of course. Uh, what, the zipper? Wall shave it. Remember how we um, cut notches in the corner so that it's nice and uh, round? That's what it looks like on the outside. I've got tape on the inside, but it's kind of folded in. Let me take off this tape and you can see it a little bit better. It's kind of folded in and we took those notches so that way we got a lot of that extra fabric out of there. All right, so now I'm going to take the zipper, line up the center that I drew with the center here, and then lay that down on the tape and then do the exact same thing, stitch it in place. That always gives me trouble at the corner. <clears throat> And the tape is also very forgiving, right? So if you lay it down and it doesn't line up right, you can always just pull it right up and then reposition it. Do you make laptop cases? I don't. I, mean, I'm, I probably could. I just haven't. All right. T-Pain used to be everything when I was in high school. Alright, that's all lined up. And then we're going to go ahead and set that down. Watch me, I think I finally figure out where I've been going. Oh, good! I used to teach you all my class. I don't have time! I wish I could. I am jamming. <laughs> this song is just so nostalgic. Alright. Pull my thread back. Is this going in, is this going to in video? 
is going to a video. YouTube? I don't know if you meant to say, is this going to the YouTube? Yes. Somebody else asked me about adding this to my YouTube. I'll probably just block out that, that part where I was saying <laughs> nobody wants to see that. I came late. Oh no! This is a zip around wallet. You are really late because we are at the end. That's another good one. I will spare you guys the singing now. All right, tying off my thread, we are good. Outside, done. So at this point, I'm going to zip it up, make sure everything lines up. We're good. So this is what it's looking like so far. So again, the reason why we do not sew the sides on the outside, remember we did not sew this part right here to the zipper, we did our faux stitches, and the reason for that is because we're going to, uh-oh. What are you trying to block me seeing? <laughs> So the reason why we didn't sew that is because we're going to tuck this little extra piece down here on the inside. Let me see how I can show you guys. Here we go. Just to kind of give you an idea. So the excess zipper is going to be tucked in on the side. And so we can't have that sewn down just like that. Same thing over here. So that's why we don't sew the sides. I'm making something else. Leave it. <laughs> um, what time is it? Three? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see after I finish this. Okay. Outside is all done. I'm going to add some double-sided tape. And this is just going to hold when we're done. I still have to sew my sides down, but this double-sided tape will hold our interior in while we sew these two together. What's for dinner? Um, I think leftovers. I made some like Mongolian on the Blackstone yesterday, and I have some leftovers. Thank you for the video. I've tried to miss it before and got so confused. Oh, you're welcome. I'm also releasing a pattern for um, a wristlet next week on the 15th. So if you want an actual wristlet pattern, I'll have one for you. Let's see. I have the shakes. I mean, I'm okay. I'm not really shaking that bad now. The coffee, the caffeine must have gone through. I do have some Lola's cut out I can do. Those don't take very long anyways. I can get one of those knocked out in like an hour. I need to pack snacks. But I'm not a snacker. I just ordered my first server. Your first server? Serger. <laughs> Congrats. Those are fun. I guess my claim I have to wait another hour. You gotta get a housekeeper. That is why I have to get a housekeeper. Okay. Sides are sewn on. And what these are going to do, these are going to be sewn together, and that's going to keep the zip around wallet from opening all the way up. It'll keep it at like a um like that. So now we're going to sew the inside and the outside together. So I'm going to take off this tape line up my interior to my exterior, and then sew those together. Please do a Lola. <laughs> okay. I gotta stand up. Make sure it is nice and even. So I'm looking to make sure that I have the same amount of zipper tape exposed on the top and bottom as well as the sides. So stand up and stretch. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that we're nice and even. 
and then I'm just going to push that down into the tape. Okay. And then what you can also do, I'm ready to sew it up, but what you can also do is zip it up just to make sure everything is nice and lined up. The pups are, no, they're downstairs with my husband. He's off of work today for um, the holiday, so they've been hanging out with him. You look like you're all set. Thanks. I was sick for a couple of months and lost a ton of weight. Okay, so here's what we look like with the inside and outside. So it's ready to sew together. Do I like scary movies? Yes. You have puppies? I have two. Yep. You guys want to see them? I'll call them up here. Cookie! Butters! They'll be up here in a second. This is Butters, and this is Cookie. Hey, Cookie. I don't know if you can see him. She is a lap dog. All right, get down. Those are my dogs. My dogs are gonna. Could you go to the ends of the zipper before you sew the top and bottom? No, because it would be like this. Yeah, they're sweet dogs. And then I want to make sure, so we have our flaps on the side. You want to make sure that those are pressed down. Um, the black one is a Silky Terrier, and the white one is a Havanese mix. All right, I backstitch on this one instead of pulling the threads through like we did before. I'm just going to trim those threads, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. So, thanks. <laughs> I was like, who's calling me? <laughs> and then there's only like two more steps to this wallet. And Miss Benita, the order will be all done. She was so sweet to work with. So flexible, too. I don't think that I've ever had a bad experience with a custom order. Where I was like, man, I'm so glad that that's over with. I'm, like, truly lucky. I have a really great customer base. Okay. Inside exterior is stitched together. I don't know if you can see the row of stitching. The inside is cotton, the outside is a faux leather. This is a custom order, this is not for sale. I have a box there. They're not gonna lie. I mean, it's too easy for me to say thank you, but no thank you um, on an order. I don't need anybody's order, and I'd rather not deal with the headache if that's the case. I would obviously be nice about it, but I don't have any problem saying no thanks. All right, so the next step is to sew our sides together. So I'm going to clip them in place. Again, that's going to keep the wallet from opening all the way up. Can this wallet be done on a domestic? I don't know the answer to that. Probably. I will refund the order really fast. Because I try to be kind to everybody. And if there's somebody that I'm working with that just can't reciprocate that on just a basic level, you can have your money back. Those are stitched on. Can you order one? Yeah, this would be a custom order. 
Okay, so that is stitched in place. And then the last step is just to add our zipper pocket. I did this on my domestic sewing machine. So this is fully lined. So this goes on the inside like that. Gives the pockets different sections. <coughs> so I'm going to line this up, clip it in place, and then stitch that down too. I'm so glad. That, oh, I'll have it for Cynthia. Absolutely, you don't need that kind of no. But again, I mean, I've never had to deal with that. And that is amazing. is sewn on and then now we have to do this side this is probably the toughest part just because you gotta line it up might have a um, like attachment pattern that you can purchase to add a phone. I haven't bought it. Alright. That is stitched into place. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to hit my little threads with the lighter just so they don't unravel. It's just an insurance. I backstitch all of mine so they're not going anywhere. Alright, so here we go. The last step is just to deal with the zipper. But this is essentially what it looks like on the inside. And then you have a slip pocket behind each of these credit card slots. So there's lots of storage in here. All right. I'm going to trim off. You want some zipper to stay on. I'm going to trim that, hit it with the lighter. And then I'm going to sew another little stop, a little fake stop. So I can trim a little bit of this off too. And then we're going to tuck these little pieces into that opening with those faux stitches. I'm not using a lighter. Yeah, that'll just prevent the lighter or the zipper tape from unraveling. All right, let me grab my pliers. And my fabric glue. Alright, so we're going to start with this side. And we're just going to tuck this zipper in between the lining and the exterior. Let me see if I can give you guys a good look. So we have the lining and we have the interior. So I'm going to just tuck this right in between the two so you won't see it. And then get that lined up. Oh, thanks. Got to get it lined up sometimes. I got to fight with it. Like if you see how it looks right there. But I just go slow. There's no rush. I want to make it look really nice. Do you put your label on it? I put it on the um, zipper. I have a little charm for the zipper around wallets that I use. There we go. So now it's tucked in there nice and even and lined up. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here.
This side is a little bit easier because you're working with one piece of tape at a time. Where the other one, because it's sewn together. There we go. All right, before I sew it, so it's pretty much done now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my nozzle down in here and I'm going to glue it in place. It's not going to come out, but the glue just makes sure that it doesn't come out. So once I glue it, I don't want to open it back up until I ship it out. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like before I glue it down. So this is it. Thanks, Stacy. Good. I'm glad, Benita. You're welcome. So here's what we're looking like. Let me put my charm on. Okay, there we go. So let me get everything together before I glue it. So here is the collet, and here is your zip around wallet. So cute. So pretty. Sorry, Becca, I wasn't trying to make a snap. What did I miss? I like the style of wallet. That's okay. No, I don't know what you're apologizing for, but don't worry about it. Whatever it is, I've already forgotten about it. I know, it's so cute. Here's a little close up. So pretty. I hope you love it. Benita, thank you for letting me do it for you. All right, let me go ahead and glue this in place. This is an old one and I don't, like to put it down in here, I don't want to touch this with my old one. So I'm just going to grab my new one just because it's not as gunky as that one. I just want a clean nozzle. Thank you guys. Oh man. This one is brand new, but it looks like it's poked open somehow. What's the Facebook page to get on the custom order list? Butter bags. So you want to just search butter bags in Facebook and then when the list of options come up, you want to click on the tab that says groups. Okay. Now we got a clean nozzle. There we go. And nobody really knows that there's glue down in here unless you look on the inside, unless you watch this, but you can't really see it. The butter knife. Gotta go on with your thought. Oh, have a good night. Can you show us your fanny pack? Yes. All right. See you guys later.